guys and welcome back to my channel. This is just a quick update on the babies. So I named them after the seasons. We've got spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Autumn and winter are the boys, spring and summer are the girls, and I'm going to be holding on to summer. So she's going to stay here with me. But uh, let's start down here with winter. He is the biggest of the bunch. He's been eating very well. Here, let's move this. So there is Winter. He was a naughty boy and he bit somebody who was over here not too long ago. <laughs> but they're still a little bit scared and nervous. This little babies. I think he might be getting ready to go into another shed cycle, but he has just an amazing, beautiful, perfect pattern. Those diamonds and the lines down the sides. That's really common with het leopards. It's kind of a marker for them. They're really more of kind of like a co-dominant morph than a recessive. There's some debate on that. He is fabulous. Is that pretty face? Those dark eyes. Perfect. <laughs> so that's winter, and he is available. These guys will be ready to ship out in a week or so. So if you're looking for a baby boa, and that doesn't get super big, these guys max out at about six feet. Probably less for the boys. girls could get to seven. <laughs> Tia is seven foot, their mama. This beautiful little boy is Autumn, and he is the one I wish was a girl. Oh, you're gonna be hissy. Hi, honey. And he is just gorgeous. I would love to keep him. Look at those reds. He's not so sure about this camera business. <laughs> Oh, just incredible. Fabulous pattern. My camera does not pick up on the red very well. I know I've mentioned that in other videos. It seems to be a common problem. So he's far more red in person. Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Gorgeous. That tail. And these guys will tame down in no time. A little regular handling. All right, come on, buddy. I know you want to come out and explore. It's a pretty bare bones, basic setups right now. And spring and summer, my girls. They have not had their first shed yet. So they still have oh, come on, a little bit of their baby silvering and their true colors have not been revealed yet. Well, you just want to go back home here. 
So they've just kind of got a late start. They've been eating. They've all been eating great. They've all taken two meals, no problem. I want to get one or two more in before I ship them out. And of course, uh, these have to have their first shed. She has a beautiful face. I think she's going to be a little bit lighter in color than the others, and she doesn't have quite as much red, but again, I don't know for sure, not until after she sheds. It'll be fun to see. No, no, no. Back in. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Back in your house. Come on. This is hard to do one-handed. <laughs> there. Now my hold back. I'm gonna raise this little girl up as a future breeder. Cause she is very red like her mama. <laughs> Look at her. And she also has not had her first shed. It's been almost two months since these were born and she's just holding out on me. But she's gonna be amazing. All that red is gonna pop. And they do darken up a lot as they get older. I mean, if you've seen Tia recently, you see how dark she is. But that red is still underlying and really nice. Beautiful baby. So there you go guys. The four little babies, little preemie babies are doing great. And if you're looking for a pet boa, let me know. I haven't priced them yet. They're going to be around probably 250, 275 probably for autumn because he's amazing. Maybe winter too. And then uh, 250 for spring. But I don't know for sure. Don't quote me on that yet. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that like and subscribe and the little bell. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!